the top of the mountain for me is the mission, you know, and we talk about the mission in our organization quite a bit. And so trying to, to make that whole spirit, mind, and body thing come alive in the lives of people through the eyes and the hands, the heads, and the hearts of our staff um, gives me great excitement, you know, every single day. And, we, you know, we try to get our, our folks to, uh, and myself, to always, you know, try to avoid getting bogged down in the budgets and the scheduling and the, you know, getting the parking lot cleared when it's snowing or what have you. To just see all that as a means to to helping people grow in spirit, mind, and body. We had a we had a uh, a small community center operation that served refugees resettling into Louisville. They found themselves uh, as an independent organization in an unsustainable position. Well, the United Way caught wind of that, they came to the YMCA and asked us to consider taking on the Arcadia Community Center project, mainly serving Somali Bantus. They funded a six-month planning period because if we were going to do it, I had to have a two-year sustainability plan. I wasn't going to take it on if we couldn't sustain it for at least the first two years because I didn't want those kids or those families to be subject to a next week shutdown of the program. They had already been through that once. So we spent six months, we, we studied it, we organized some community collaboration, and you know, as of six weeks ago, we now have a refugee resettlement project as part of our YMCA family. But we've, we've got 75 kids a day from Somali Bantu refugee families that are spending their afternoons with, with us at the YMCA. Just two days ago, I heard a story that's where one of the kids came up and said, why does the YMCA like us so much? You know, particularly as a Christian organization with, when they're, they're, you know, they're 90% Muslims. And they're saying, why does the YMCA like us so much? Uh, you know, I want our organization to be, to see every person as a bundle of magnificence.